play is set in Connemara and it centres around uh, Mag and Maureen and they are mother and daughter and um, they are codependent. She, Matt Maureen is Mag's carer and um, they have a very mundane, or well, Maureen certainly feels boring life and an unexpected invitation comes um, at the start of the play and then things unfold. We all think that our own homes, our own families are normal but because what we do we think of is kind of normal or relationships are normal and of course a lot of the time they aren't and in this play it is, it's completely about family and relationships um, and so in my case it's with my daughter we have this completely toxic toxic codependent relationship and there are reasons why it has developed into that some of which the audience will never know mm. but some of which will become apparent um, and uh, it's kind of so fascinating because all families have their secrets and have their their rituals and their ways of behaving which they think are normal and so say Mag and, and Maureen in a way think that their life is very normal. Mm -hmm. um, those There's so many layers to it like we're in our final week and we're still uh, discovering layers like building on what we've done but we're still layering it up which is kind of unusual at this stage yeah. you know, with the play I mean we really I like the company who wrote it at the age of 25. Um, it's, these are really complex characters. It, nothing is black and white. You're playing lots of different things in, in the one moment, um, which is challenging, but brilliant. Um, and it's been great to sort of discover it. Rachel has been fantastic at, at supporting us um, on the journey with it. Um, I think it's, I'm not, I am going to say, I think it's, it's a piece of genius. Do you know, I have said to people that um, people have sort of said, oh, we need to have a I said, I feel like this is uh, maybe the best play mm -hmm. that I've ever done. Yeah. Just in terms of, you know, notwithstanding the production or anything like that, or just saying like for the actual words of the page, it's been a long ambition of mine at the end of my corner. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the first one I've, I've, I've ever been in. It's, it's kind of like poetry or like Shakespeare almost. It's, the beats in it is so clear. And there's such a, a, a lyrical quality to it. It's not so much sing, but it's like, it has that. It, it does a lot of the work for you if you can just... It's hard forward. to learn yeah, because it is. you have to be completely accurate yeah. in his rhythms. Um, and But once you get them, then... It's the it's payoff is great. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, if you, if you don't get it accurately, you will not be better than he is. It sort of occurred to me that I've, I've never taken being in work for granted and never taken sort of rehearsal rooms for granted, but especially this one at this, at the, I don't want to say at the end of this time, but like in the last 18 months, it's, you know, it's been in it. I feel very lucky to be in this particular room for m multiple reasons.